Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I see folks from the other room are just coming back. Welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed the day. So we're not going to keep you very long. We're just going to attempt to just do a quick review of the day together. Um, and then some logistical reminders. Um, and then we will all go on to that, onto the stairs and have a group picture or conference picture taken. So, so we can remember this, these days together. Um, okay. So I just wanted to kind of run through the day. So you you see on the screens, we have the beautiful work of Alex who is there and maybe a round of applause for Alex. So all of these will be made available that really capture and Alex has been with us for a few years now. So he really understands our work. So his, it has gotten every year better and better in terms of capturing the actual discussion. So this is a very nice way of kind of summarizing some of the discussions. Um, so I won't attempt to, to read through them, but you're, you, can, you can see what is there. You can look at it later. Um, but we started a day with, uh, with some messages from um, a girl from, from Brazil, um, Thay Thaisa. 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 Um, that was extremely powerful. Um, and then we had the opening session from a global perspective and LAC region. I wanted to invite a volunteer to mention one thing that really stood out to you from the opening session. I like the part where we started with a child, the voice of a child. And I think what I picked up from what she said was the importance of collaboration to be able to address the climate crisis. And that when we do meet in 2030 for COP 20, uh, for COP 30, there should be actions and not just, uh, she mentioned something about not just complaining. Yeah. yeah, she said that's, we should have something to celebrate rather than, rather than just complain. Great. Thank you very much. Anyone else has any burning contribution? Yeah, I think it's very important uh, to discuss on the uh, first session today. It's about the localization and engagement of the community leaders especially uh, with the localization initiative, not just for, for the uh, NGOs. Uh, we needed to working with children. We needed to working with the community actors. It's uh, very important to be uh, advocate to uh, with the community because the community can help us to uh, save the children. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. So then, then we moved on to some interactive sessions, the security session, the, the uh, of course, the lack session, but then the security session. Um, and then after, then we went after lunch, right? After lunch, um, I happened to be upstairs with, uh, in the session that Victoria led, which um, I'm going to be very honest and frank. In the beginning, I sat there and I said, it's going to be one and a half hour of a one woman show. How is she going to carry us through one and a half hour? And she did. My God. I mean, this woman, she, she said she hopes to be a diplomat, but I think she already is a diplomat. <laughs> so congratulations to you. Really, thank you very much for that, for that beautiful session. So those who were not Maybe if you stand up, for those who were not in the session, you missed out. So please go find her during the, during the, the following days and, and talk to her because she has a lot to share from her, her own experience, but also all, all her peers that, that she had spoken with and has brought their experience to, uh, to us to share, to share with us. Um, and downstairs was the session on working across sectors. Perfect. Anyone wants to share uh, something that stayed with you from that particular session? Uh, 
I understood that uh, child well-being is depending to many factors, and the one sector cannot responding to all needs. This for why working across sector is very important to ensure that we are responding to child well-being. Thank you. Fantastic. Holistic well-being of the child that now is popping up in almost everything that we do. I mean, a lot of, a lot of us have been advocating for this, um, but the sectorization of, of humanitarian work probably has not, on this front at least, served us well. Um, but there's a lot of efforts to bring that back uh, to a holistic approach. Thank you for that. Um, then we had two other sessions on case management down here and on accompanying separated children. Sorry, the other way around. You uh, on accompanying separated children here and case management and LGBTQI plus uh, session upstairs. Anyone wants to share anything on the on the UAC on accompanying separated children? session that was down here just something that stuck with you yeah. uh, i'm very that um for the uh, case management session i'm uh, very like on uh, very proud to be part of uh, the listening person to the mexico experience about uh, the child protection system and the child protection information management system um, I think it's very important for all countries to uh, benefit from this experience, to building their system uh, of child protection. Um, maybe I will bring with uh, some of this experience with me in, uh, to Iraq when I back, uh, to share it with the uh, government authority and also with uh, another organizations. Uh, I think we needed to clap to, to them. Thank you very much. It was a really, the case management session was a really good experience, example of really systematic work on policy and practice hand in hand that really has, is making a difference in the lives of, uh, lives of children. And the LGBTQI plus session was, was also very eye-opening. It's an area that we probably are not paying enough attention in humanitarian work uh, because we are always busy saving lives and then marginalized groups fall to the side, right? So it was a very interesting one, and I personally look forward to learning more about uh, what the, the, the learnings of the study and the, the, the way forward. With that, I'll hand over to Camilla for some um, announcements. OK, so if you like these drawings, we're doing our best to get them in Spanish for you by the last day. And that closing session where we'll hope to have them in Spanish as well, we will be hearing from Victoria, who gave such an inspiring session already in to make some closing remarks as well as another child who'll be joining us tomorrow morning for the climate crisis session. So we're really excited to have two amazing child speakers helping us to close out the event. And they'll then be followed by, you know, just four adults, some, some people we picked from the room. Um, so to help those speakers to prepare their thoughts, we have some boards set up in the coffee break area outside. They popped up over lunchtime, thanks to the amazing organizing team we have, where you can put your reflections. So you can influence those closing speakers, whether Victoria or otherwise, with some of your really key takeaways. We structured them around the background paper questions. Um, so if you feel inspired by a session, you really think something is, is a key point coming out of this meeting, Meeting, feel free to pop it up there during one of the coffee breaks and they can then take a look and, and see how to bring it into their closing or you can just read each other's comments and, and, and see what other people are taking away. So in terms of the notices, Tomorrow we have our networking event at the end of the day, six till eight. There'll be a few drinks and snacks provided. And then if you want to buy some more, you, you're welcome. We tried out the venue on our first night. It was really great. If you just turn right out of the, the building, you walk for about five minutes and you get to a main road, you turn right, there's a roundabout and it's there. It's called Fabrica. So you can just put Fabrica in your phone and follow the map or find someone who's got a roaming phone, follow them and you'll get there. So hopefully we can get there about 6.15, get the drinks flowing, get on with the, the informal networking part. Um, as you probably may have seen today, when you move upstairs, you need to change the radio frequency on your headset. 
uh, because it will be different in each of the rooms. So just try and if you need the interpretation, you're not one of the lucky ones who can go without, just make sure you do that when you first go in the room because we've got quite a tight agenda, particularly tomorrow. Um, so it will just help all the sessions to run on time. If you haven't downloaded the app, please download the app. It's on your tables. If for any reason we are horribly running out over time, we'll tell you via the app. But we're hoping to always come back from the breaks and come back from the lunch on time, even if we finish a little bit late. And yeah, you otherwise you can continue to contribute to the hands craft exercise, which I know lots of you have already been enjoying. Um, and we'll find a way to display them. Uh, so I think that's everything. We're now over for our photo. Yes. Yeah, perfect. So if you can all leave your stuff here, move on to the, to the stairs, and you can spread yourself out on the stairs. We'll take a photo, and then you can come and grab your things, and the day will be over. Thank you very much for, for your uh, attention today, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>